so Gordon, you're really passionate about kids having access to good food. I mean, obviously, right? You've got kids and also you're, you're a chef, so you want kids to have good food, you know, yeah. access, right? That's really important. Also, just getting that sort of uh, one good meal of the day. And, you know, we grew up on food stamps. And so, mm -hmm. you know, it was embarrassing at the time because you're called out to go and get in a special line. And so you sort of, you then understand that your parents have got that money to sort of eat properly. So that school lunch or packed lunch was mm. crucial. That's interesting. I love that, though, that where you've come from and where, you, where you're at now, and you really appreciate that. That's mm -hmm. so cool. Um, well, for way too many kids in this country, the only chance for a nutritious meal is the government-subsidized free lunch program at schools. That means many kids still go hungry on the weekends, affecting not only their health, but their mindset. My next guest is working hard to change that for kids in Baltimore. She is what we call a good neighbor. Project, please welcome Lenny Young. <laughs> so Lenny, like me, Gordon, me, Cheryl. Nice to see you. Nice to you. So you've been dedicated um, to feeding those in need for more than a decade, right? That's I have. A long time. Yes. How'd yes. you get started? I'm a full-time accountant. Mm -hmm. I'm a wife. I'm a mom of two kids. And in 2009, when I turned 40, I wanted to do something to give back to my community. Yeah. And so I took a look at my kids and I saw how blessed they were. And I realized how many children are not as fortunate as my own and are having trouble making ends meet. meet. Yeah, yeah, make ends meet. And so I got together with some friends and we started something called Linny's Garage, mm -hmm. which was an opportunity to come to our house and make lunches uh, for two women and children's homeless shelters. So yeah. one Sunday a month for nine years, we made 250 lunches and I was able to take them to the shelters. And when I would show up, the kids would come running out and they would say, are you the lunch lady? And I would say, today I am because I was bringing lunches for them. And each month, the moms would share with me how impactful it was for their kids mm -hmm. to receive a brown bag lunch and that they could show up at school just like their peers, mm. even though that their lives were so different. Yeah, and it, that, that actually led to Baltimore um, Hunger Project, right? Mm. So what exactly do y'all do? So Baltimore Hunger Project is dedicated to eliminating weekend childhood hunger. And we focus on kids who receive free breakfast and lunch Monday through Friday. And we want to bridge that hunger gap from Friday afternoon to Monday mornings. Yeah. And so we send home a weekend sized bag of food for our children. Um, mm. I had seen a study that showed kids who don't eat over the weekend, it takes them until Wednesday till they can focus on their studies. Mm. And I wanna be sure that the kids that we are supporting are treated exactly like my own kids. Yeah. So every week we have over 100 volunteers who come through and put together our weekend food bags. Um, they deliver the food bags to the schools and the kids are identified by the guidance counselors mm -hmm. as the ones who are most in need. Yeah. And then they take our food bags and slip it into the kids' backpacks before they go home. Wow. So for us, it's um, the dignity of the kids that we... I was just about to yeah. say that. Yeah. Just it takes away that shame, I feel like, that you were talking about when you said, you know, you were in that separate line. And, you know, slipping in their backpack makes them feel like more normal. That's got to be helpful. It's hard enough school with kids. Yeah, a really smart idea. It stops that complex. Uh, it stops that, that level of anxiety. And all, also, more importantly, gives them that kind of nutrient and, and nourishment they need and desperately need, especially when you said that they're not focused until Wednesday, yeah. mm -hmm. which is ridiculous. No, 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 no kid should be suffering that. That's I know. right. And so it, the dignity and, the, and handing the food in a compassionate manner is really important to us. Yeah. What goes in the bag? So each food bag has four cans of protein, box of cereal, box of milk, box of juice, applesauce pouch, protein bars, uh, fruit snacks. And so we had learned a couple years ago, one of our teachers had called us and told us that one of our students was in the faculty lounge rummaging through the drawers. And she came in and she said, what are you doing? And he said, I'm looking for a fork because when I take this food bag home, I don't have silverware at home. Wow. And so I couldn't believe, um, and I also knew that he couldn't be the only child that that was happening to. And so now inside each of our food bags, we put plastic silverware, a napkin, a note of encouragement, and a can opener, because we want to eliminate the barriers that the kids might face when they take our food bags home. They're really important. Yeah. Um, well, what's next for the food project? So um, currently we support 1,600 children every Friday. Wow. Yes, and um, we have over 2,000 kids on our wait list in order to... No. Yes, yeah, so we live in Baltimore County and 114,000 students receive free and reduced meals at schools. And so we're just scratching the surface of the kids who need our assistance. Mm. And so what's next for us? Obviously, we would like to put ourselves out of business. But until we do that, we want to make sure that we're supporting as many kids as we can mm. and that we are taking care of them in the same way we would take care of our own kids. 
Absolutely. Um, well, ConAgra believes that everybody deserves access to healthy and nutritious food. Uh, when they heard about all the great work you're doing to feed kids on the weekends, it's so important, and they wanted to help. So they're donating $10,000 to your foundation. Oh, wow. <laughs> and please let us know how, how you know, how else we can help in the future. Because we want to reach all those kids that you said that are on that waiting list. Nobody should be on that waiting list. You know, these are kids that didn't, these are the cards that were dealt to them. It's not their fault, you know? So, um, and you know what? Every family, my family, we all have hard times. I think everybody really understands the impact of that for the last two years. Mm -hmm. People can fall under financially hard times. So we really have to take care of each other. And I love what you're doing. So thank, thank you. you.